Yo, what is up, everybody? Yo, what is up, everybody? We are back again with another character reveal trailer and breakdown. I think I said that right. Uh, you were just wrapped up. Uh, congratulations, Arslan, in a very boring uh, <laughs> finals of Kuni Kuni. But either way, that is neither here nor there. So uh, with the reveal just happening, we were hit with two trailers. The first one is Raven. Um from what I saw when I was driving home, when I saw it on my phone, there was a lot of things happening on the screen. Um, a lot of purple clones everywhere. Um, I just couldn't tell much, really. Um, the stages looked dope. One of the stages was, um, it looked like the Tekken 5 temple stage. Um, except it was purple, with like some demon stuff happening all around. Um, and then like, the floor broke, and then you were put in Tekken 6 Jin's boss stage. Um, Gargoyle's Nest and like that one was also slightly different like things were blowing up in the background it looked cool so and, and also that one weird stage that showed up in screenshots for that one article but never appeared anywhere like not even in the closed network beta um, so yeah so this is my first time watching it in 4k and uh, let's see all right, so hopefully the audio is all cool right now. Hopefully it doesn't dip too much when I'm talking. All right. Yeah, this stage looks dope. Okay, this is what I remember. Purple clones. Witness the results of my training. It looks cool. All right, let's see how she says his name. Shadow Agent. Hey, he looks buff too. Back one into ninjutsu stance, I guess. They're probably going to treat that the same way they treated Jack's new stance. Like you hold a direction and he does it. So that was no surfboard. It looked like a running. Oh my god, why is this so happening so fast? So many extensions. It's gonna be impossible to block him. <laughs> okay, a 4 3 counter hits to launches. Haze 1 plus 2 tornadoes. <laughs> so the heat engage or heat smash is a clone that just gets torpedoed at you. Yo, how the hell? <laughs> so many things happening on the screen. Okay, counter hit four, four, three still does the same thing. <laughs> that looks cool. Man, there's so many things that were happening in that video. Oh, that's a cool windscreen. All right, so, so many things happening there. I have no idea how to process this thing. <laughs> um, so during heat, his clones are orange. It looked like he had a new running move that put him back turned. Um, the surfboard attack, was it down forward three? Didn't do a surfboard animation anymore. It just did like a clone throw looking thing. But then later on, he did have the surfboard animation. That was it's, they probably transferred over to a different move. Probably just back back two, maybe. Um, either way, I'm going to chop this all up. And I'm going to slow down, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera, so we can actually see what exactly what's happening during this fast trailer. With all these gimmicks and clones happening everywhere. So yeah, so with the magic of editing... And we are back. So yeah, let's jump right into the first sequence. All right, so there he does back one into the stance. Let's call the stance ninjutsu, right? Which looks like a four, which is a slide. Okay, back one, stance, slide, spin a Rooney kick with a brand new follow-up that spikes, manually teleports into the back two plus four reversal. All right, so let's see this again. Back one, ninjutsu, four. 
spin rooney kicks with a brand new follow up that spikes manual ninjutsu teleport reversal man so much all right so jin does the full crouch sweep gets blocked punished with the wall standing three. Oh my god so many things happening in real time okay while standing three with a follow-up and then back to four that spikes floor break and then the down four okay right full crouch sweep while standing three with a follow-up down four one haze into the spike which is normally the the surfboard slide right and then down four three which does a brand new throw animation Man, right? Bam, wall standing three. An uppercut with a two, so that's probably wall standing three, two. Down forward, one, haze, four. No, haze, teleport, four, right? I don't even know. This is so much. That looks cool. All right, so that looks like a new running three animation, right? Running three, forward, four, two, right? Forward four is the low. Four four one. So running three leaves him back turn and plus. Forward four one. Ninjutsu one. Four. All right, so down four. Two three still is back right. Back to four into the air teleport. And back, down back two one into a, a new follow up. All right, so back to four, one. Oh, no, two, because we could, uh, we said that before in the previous section, right? Because the, the clone does a two uppercut. So down forward, two, three. Back two, four, stance two, right? And then down back two, one, stance with a new follow-up. Okay, pretty straightforward. All right, so up forward, three still launches on counter hit. Okay, so this is up forward three, down forward one, heat first, quarter circle forward one, to haze, and then an uppercut, right? So down forward one, heat burst, smash, right? Oh, not smash, just bound. Quarter circle forward one, haze two, teleport above, ninjutsu one plus two, because that's the haze, right? So haze one plus two tornadoes. So up forward three, down forward one, and then he bursts, which is two plus three. And then he does quarter circle forward one, haze, two, teleport, ninjutsu, one plus two, and then forward forward two. Manual, oh my god, okay. That was a manual ninjutsu, which was like flying overhead by the looks of it, right? Which sends out two clones. Ninjutsu, right hand, yeah, so two. Okay, so that's probably just a straight up heat engager. And then the heat smash, which is, <laughs> that clone gets torpedoed at you. And if you get hit, <laughs> the heat smash happens. Man, Raven's gonna be impossible to block against. Yo, that, <laughs> that clone comes out of nowhere. That heat smash looks amazing though. Okay, quarter circle forward two does not give a free juggle. But knowing what we learned from the Tekken 8 um, closed network beta, situations like that are always guaranteed. Because Jin had one, Ling had one, like a lot of people had them. So that probably guarantees a free one plus two. Which is the heat engager. So New Raven runs in, the new running three, and then the clone instantly comes out. Back turn two, two more clones teleport above and then that's probably the back two two that he used as a as the reversal attack the attack throw All right so then quarter circle forward two heat engager one plus two running three back turned two two and then the ninjas come out man so when he's in heat he's gonna have like auto clones down back two is blocked and that looked like Cooney's um set four three like the second kick of that so it's also a heat engager from back turn that's a cool kick okay so down back two the new kick with 
three, heat engager, four, 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 down back two, one, ninjutsu, three, two, teleport, and then a fake mid into a punch. So he's going to be able to use the clones as fakes, as like faint attacks. That's going to be crazy. I wonder how he's going to work on block, right? He's probably just going to be like, you just block the attack and then he's boned. So there might be like a gigantic downfall as far as like his offense goes. Like he won't be able to get the ball rolling if you block correctly. And he might have to be like, he'll probably have certain moves that grant him the clones on block, but they're probably like super risky. So he's going to have to like overextend in order to start start offense on somebody that has really good defense. Pretty similar to how he is or she and he, well, both of them are right now, right? Because like Raven is like on block, Raven has to like force the mix-ups by going in back turned, etc. Right? But in this game, he's going to have to probably force it via the ninjutsu stuff. Either by manual ninjutsu stance or manual haze on block, but then on hit, it's gonna be like it's gonna be impossible to block him. He's gonna have so many options on hit. But overall, man, he looks dope. These new stages are amazing. The first stage looks like the Tekken 5 stage, but all purpley. Um, and then when you break down the through the hole, it goes into the Tekken 6 Jin boss stage the gargoyles nest except like everything's exploded in the background so i'm pretty sure it's like there's a lot of like story mode stuff that would explain all of that um and then the other stage is just like that one screenshot that appeared in um that one article from ign i think and then it never appeared ever again and people always wonder what that stage was going to be shown and it was never shown during the network beta so it looks cool it looks gigantic just like the other one which leads me to believe that there's going to be no more infinite stages. Um, they're probably just going to replace the infinite stages with extremely large stages. That like you'll rarely hit the walls. Um, but either way, uh, getting sidetracked there. So Raven looks phenomenal. He looks trickier than ever. Um, which says a lot because he has a lot of high risk, high reward mix ups already. So now he's gonna, just going to be overwhelming in the, in the hands of a, of a maniac. Um, I'm glad the OG Raven is back. He looks amazing. Um, yeah, he's going to be impossible to block during the heat. So, yeah, guys, um, I appreciate your time. Um, hopefully this uh, little breakdown brings you some more insight on Raven. And, yeah, guys, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. If you like the video, like it. And I appreciate your time. Thank you again. Take care.